in any good community, you have to have certain things, good schools, a safe environment for families, a good economy. But having a good art scene and having a community theater is another one of the pillars that really improve and maintain the quality of life for any community. The theater has such a storied history. We've had Shirley Temple, Wayne Newton, B.B. King, Mickey Rooney, you name it. And most recently, we've been really on a roll, starting to get things going. We've brought back Broadway national tours. We've had Spamalot, we've had Finding Neverland. And we were really hitting our stride. We were gonna have shows probably four to five nights a week all year, and, uh, and then COVID came. The theater shut down its public operations on March 16th, and we were gonna be shut down indefinitely. We were just gearing up in March for our spring summer season where we were gonna be busy almost five days out of the week, there'd be something in here for programming. And then it went to zero. So there's a little silver lining of the fact of we would have had a graduation or a dance recital um, during the night of the storm. At that time, I was home. The winds were picking up 6.30 that night get a get a alarm call saying hey there's something happening on the stage and I'm like okay well it's super windy out I'm gonna wait till the storm dies down and then I start getting phone calls of hey the theater just got destroyed I was down here to the theater probably within five or ten minutes of the incident happening what you saw was just chaos and destruction it was very emotional very scary you're like what just happened? And how did this happen? And why? And you start questioning going, why me? You know, why the theater? Why couldn't it have been somewhere else? I was just terrified that somebody had gotten hurt. Once those fears were gone, we kind of just jumped right into work mode. So this is what once was and will be again our auditorium. Um, you can see we've put a uh, barrier about halfway through and that is intended to keep this part of the building that is still structurally sound, uh, protected from the elements, protected from humidity and that kind of thing. The theater's main goal is um, to rebuild and it's going to take a while. We don't have a timeline on that, but the show must go on. There's a lot of great signatures in here and we need to make sure that we're preserving everything we can. The theater has such a treasured history with so many bright stars and we're just looking forward to getting back open so that we can put more of those stars on the stage for Sandusky. So this is where the artists would come out of the dressing rooms and onto the stage and it's also where you can see really where most of the destruction happened. So. This pile of rubble is actually the stage underneath all that and uh, that came down onto the stage down in the auditorium and into the backstage area here. It stinks but we're going to rebuild and we're going to re rebuild bigger and better and stronger than we ever were. So you have to think through the positivity of all of it. Yes there's sadness but that's how you manage to lift yourself up and get through all these challenging times. It's really a tough time for everybody, not just in Sandusky or America, but all over the world. And one of the things that I think we need to, to realize is once we start to come out of this pandemic, the arts are gonna be one of the things that gives us that normalcy. Coming to a show, seeing a concert, going to a movie theater. I think people need to keep in mind how important a role the arts are gonna play once we start to come out.